It's Monday, August 24th. Welcome aboard to this edition of Barnstable Today. I'm Kevin Friel. And I'm Andrew Gobiel. Thank you very much for joining us. We'd like to remind you right at the top that the meetings we cover are available on demand at the town's website. You can check them out at www.town.barnstable.ma.us. This, of course, is the start of President Obama's vacation week. Many others are taking vacation right now. We are here at Kelmis Park, a relatively quiet Kelmis Beach for now, but you can rest assured that it's going to get busier, hopefully, as the week progresses and as the temperature and as the conditions get much, much nicer. Speaking of waterfront and coastal concerns, Kevin is here to talk about our next interview. Just a moment ago, we had a chance to catch up with Tom Lavin, the town's Coastal Resource Management Committee uh, advisor, and he uh, caught us up to speed where th that committee is and uh, all things that are left for uh, the remainder of their interim time here as a town of Barnstable Board. Now, Coastal Resource uh, Management Committee has been meeting for the past year, Tom. We're here at Calmus Beach. We were going to discuss today some of those final deadlines that you're hoping to accomplish here. Um, Tom, first of all, why don't you catch us up to speed on what the Coastal Resource Management Committee has been um, charged with? Sure. Uh, the town council asked the form the Coastal Resource Management Committee uh, last year as a temporary committee to update the 1990 Camp Dresser McGee Coastal Resource Management Plan. Uh, specifically, you know, the focus on the three bays and Centerville River uh, embayments, and you know, those tools would then be used to. Uh, you know, replicate wherever necessary throughout the town. Okay, and uh, why is there a focus on those areas right now? Well, specifically those areas, again, uh, you know, it goes back to the 1990 plan. Um, you know, if you look at those areas too, there's also, uh, you know, historically looking throughout the town where we have uh, conflicts and uses, those are probably, you know, some of the areas, three bays specifically, where we have more uh, conflicts, uh, you know, more users, uh, you know, between the homeowners, the recreational users, the shell fishermen, uh, you know, everybody's out there. So it's such a popular place that because of that, we have to work to uh, plan the uses. Yeah, yeah, no, that's good. So <laughs> let's let's talk about um, let's ch talk about the f the phase that is going on right now. You sure. only have a few more meetings left as the Coastal Resource winding down. Committee yep. w is winding down. Why don't you uh, tell us about what are some of the uh, final deadlines that you have to meet with uh, updating the report and uh, when the Coastal Resource Management Committee meets again. The last part right now, we have uh, our public comment period. We're asking the public to right now uh, go to the website, the town's website, under growth management, uh, read the 2009 plan. Uh, the 2009 plan, we brought in Carol Ridley of Ridley Associates. Uh, she's responsible for putting together the Chatham Harbor Management Plan and is currently overseeing that plan right now, administering that plan, uh, just up in Pleasant Bay. And you know, doing research upon this issue, we had decided that would be you know, a great idea to, to model as much as we can existing plans in the area, um, you know, not to reinvent the wheel and you know, if it's good, use it. Um, so we, we brought Carol in on this plan and you know, she's done a wonderful job of uh, pulling together all the things that we've been able to do in the town uh, with the committee to, to work on the plan and that's on the website again and the public comment, uh, we actually are asking the public to come in on August 29th mm -hmm. uh, for a special meeting at 7 o'clock in the town uh, hearing room. Okay, and uh, people after they've read uh, the harbor management plan, they'll uh, send in their comments. They can do that by email. They can do that by calling in. They could. Uh, they can also show up at this. Uh, well, the preferred public method. We're actually really asking people to come in uh, okay. first and foremost to the meeting. Um, if you're not able to make the meeting after that, um, you could definitely call uh, growth management and you know, direct my, to myself, and you know, I'll get back to you that way. But the first step, we really want folks to come in. Um, you know, if people who really care about these issues and the ones who come in are the ones that really make a difference for our planning process. Okay, Tom, why don't you uh, give us your final thoughts here on the Coastal Resource Management Committee and uh, anything else you'd like to add? Uh, well, you know, like I said, we're just we're ready for the public and this is really something we put a lot of work into and we're, we're proud of and hope it's well received and sure it will be, but, you know. Great. Thanks, Tom, for coming on. Yeah, great. Thank you. Very Once much. again, hard work by this board over the past, what was it, a year or so or a year, year and a half? half. That's yep. what they've done right now. Speaking of hard work and uh, a bit of a change right now, the Recreation Department settling into their new digs. We've been following this story all along. The new Hyannis Youth and Community Center still on tap to begin and open up officially on September 1st, but the recreation offices are now occupied by recreation officials. We had an opportunity to stop by earlier last week and talk with Patty Machado of the Recreation Department. 
So we're in one of the rooms of the new Hyannis Youth and Community Center. We're talking with Patty Machado about their move from the old armory building into their new house. Patty, how's it been going? Well, it moves a little stressful. Um, as anybody moves, they understand that, but um, it's all good. I mean, it's all about the end result here. So it must be pretty exciting moving into this new place. It really is. I can't wait to get the kids in here. Uh, Patty, when you were moving all your things over here, there must have been plenty of stuff that uh, that you were getting rid of. What kind of excess materials did you come across that you were? Well, we, we get all new furniture. Basically, yep. is the main thing. However, uh, we keep trying to bring the old stuff back. You know, you have to have been here a long time. You get attached. Um, not so much to the building. The, the building's beautiful, and the furniture in here is beautiful, but. There's still a lot of sentiment, especially for David and I. What sort of uh, things will you be bringing from the old place into the new? We're bringing the benches in. Um, all the kids, everybody wanted to buy them, and that was a wonderful idea. But I mean, they really are part of the facility, and um, brings a little nostalgia into the, you know, into our new building. Um, what kind of uh, experience was it like over at the old armory building? Was it just? It just seems like it was so out of date and just not used as. Is that anything? No, but the spiders were fun. We were playing spider tag with the spiders coming out of the ceiling. So, yeah, it's a little old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I want to just follow up on the Highness Youth and Community Center's opening a little bit. Um, that's coming up. It's, it's going to be in the next couple months. Could you tell us about when it's opening and um, when you're preparing to have the first kids get on the ice? The first kids will be on the ice September 1st. Um, the plan is to have... Um, a rock, a, the big rock, a big rock night hiring a um, band to come in here and actually play for the kids. And um, that's scheduled, I believe, for September 1st, and everything looks like it's a go, so we should be all set. Uh, so that rock night is kind of like when there was the send off of the old Kennedy skating rink, the town invited everybody else to have one last skate. So there's going to be something like a, a first skate at the new use community center. That'll probably be scheduled for the September, I can't remember if it's the 25th and 26th or 24th and 25th. The 24th will be an opening with the um, dignitaries, basically. Um, letting them do their, um, but let them welcome everybody kind of on video and then the next day we'll have a big bash in here we're going to have um, touch a truck going on okay. we're going to have a big cookout in here with family fun games to play and then uh, we'll have open skating um, you'll be able to purchase tickets to see um, Bobby Hodge he's part of the alumni of uh, the Bruins game team and then the big opening game for the Cape Cod Cubs will be that weekend. Um, I believe that's on Sunday or I'm not sure which of the two days. We'll have open public skating and we'll have uh, figure skating starting that day and we'll have all kinds of activities and we're trying to bring in a few celebrities but um, I haven't got the full list of names yet. Once again, Patty Machado of the Recreation Department here in the town of Barnstable with their new facilities. They're absolutely thrilled with their new facility over at the Youth and Community Center. And as she mentioned, they're still ready to begin on September 1st. Now let's check out the meeting schedule for this week. Monday, August 24th, has a planning board meeting at 7 o'clock in the town hall hearing room. On Tuesday, Coastal Resources Committee meeting is going to meet at 5 o'clock in the hearing room at town hall. The school committee has a meeting on Tuesday the 25th as well at 7 o'clock in the town hall hearing room. And also Tuesday, the Waterways Committee is going to meet at, M at 8 o'clock in the MEA conference room at the building over on Finney's Lane. For Wednesday, August 26th, Old Kings Highway Historic District Committee meets at 7 o'clock in the West Barnstable Community Building. And on Thursday, the formal site plan review is going to meet for a nine morning meeting at the hearing room in Town Hall. For Kevin Freel, I'm Andrew Gobiel. Thank you very much for joining us on this edition of Barnstable Today.